These students at Lazar Trupovsky State School are learning about Anastasios Karatasos, a hero of the Greek War of Independence against the Ottoman Empire. At least that's how he is taught in Greek schools 150 kilometers south of here. But here in Skopje, he is taught as a Balkan freedom fighter from the South Macedonian region, what is today Greek Macedonia. That is one of many educational issues a joint commission of historians from Greece and North Macedonia are to resolve before this country's new school textbooks are printed in September. The most controversial issue is how schools here will teach about Alexander the Great. I believe that when we teach the era of Alexander the Great, we must draw out its cosmopolitanism rather than teach in a way that provokes nationalism. The main point is not to teach youngsters to hate each other, but to communicate. When politicians talk about history, I'm not sure anything good will come of it. The last time politicians here talked about history, they claimed Alexander as a Macedonian but not a Greek hero and spent a billion dollars on statues and public buildings befitting the pedigree. They used the name Macedonia, which is the same as Greece's northern region, and raised fears of claims on its territory and its history. Two years ago, that government, led by the right-wing VMRO party, fell from power. The Social Democrats who stepped in made a deal with neighboring Greece to rename the country North Macedonia and drop the claim to ancient culture. Finally, thanks God we are out, we are free of the cage that the previous government try to install in the, our people's mind that uh, we were some kind of ancient Macedonians, but we speak Slavic language, you know. Uh, the most important, with this agreement, we save our, and improve our identity, our language, and we should be proud of that. The opposition VMRO still disagrees. For me, this is Republic of Macedonia. Maybe officially I will have some something else in the in the in the my papers official papers macedonian people know who who they are and yeah. macedonian uh, people know where they belong and from where from when they belong north macedonia is a country in search of its past it is surrounded by the strong national identities of the greeks albanians bulgarians and serbs they have already claimed every balkan hero and woven their national narratives what is more important, those narratives interlock. The North Macedonian narrative is still being written. Some raw material for that narrative is to be found in the National Museum. Here are coins with the head of Alexander, minted in Greece but excavated in North Macedonia. Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman art are also here, testifying that empires held sway over this land for 23 centuries until nationalism was violently thrust upon it. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Skopje.